All right, what up, guys? It's Alex Rome here, um, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a future bass song. Um, I'm going to basically just create it from scratch. Um, I don't really have anything. The only thing I put together were these chords. So I was just trying to get an idea, but it's basically from scratch, um, starting from nothing. Um, the main synthesizer I'm going to be using is Silent One, uh, as usual. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start off with an intro. Uh, the way I make future bass is I start with the intro, then I do the drop, um, then the break. Then, then I basically just keep going until the song's done. Um, I don't usually start it with the drop as I would other genres. Because um, the reason for that is because... Uh, you know what? I really don't know why I do that. <laughs> I just kind of do it. But um, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these voices up to eight, and then put this decay up, pull this sustain down. Reverb. Now let's see if we can do this. Let's go up seven keys. So I think I, I can start it out with something like this. Let me just see how long I would want it. All right, cool. I heard a nice little sound. This um is going to be inspired by... Um, hmm, actually don't know what I want to do yet. First, let's try a plug first, see, see how this goes. So, um, detune, a saw wave.
Um, put that down the left side. And then to make a pluck. So I'm going to have some extra shit come in here. I'm going to distort this with a bit crusher. Let's do this. Let's see what we get. Alright, hold on. Let me uh, mix this real quick. So turn these down. Don't worry, I'll turn the volume of all this up. bad if that just blew your ears out. trouble like Thank you. 
Stuff's gonna come in here and then stuff's gonna come in here. So let me add what's gonna come over here. Uh, just need a simple hi hat. So. Wait, how the hell am I gonna try trying to say this? Um uh, damn, I don't know. I'll I'll come back to it. How's that sound? two different layers so um, since I'm not using a sampler to lay these out um, I had these uh, second hits uh, a lower volume to kind of um, mimic that of like a lower velocity but since I'm not using a sampler um, I just turned the volume down on this track and had it up on here so it kind of sounds like a, a little little nicer <laughs> So now what I'm going to add is, um, what the hell did I just do? I don't know what I just did. Um, <laughs> I'm going to make a cool synth. A lot of you guys asked how I made this. Um, it's like that up pitching kind of a cool sounding saw wave chord thing. Um... I'm putting the play thing all the way up. That was so loud, I'm, I apologize. And if it wasn't loud for you, I just blew my ears out. Um, I do that a lot. So, uh, with this, all you really do is set the uh, wave to saw, voices to eight, and detune that way. Um, pitch A. Um, I think it comes a little bit this way. Let's put that up. Little. Yeah, so it's like a little. Um, the higher up you put this, the longer it takes it to uh, pitch up. So, and if you put it all the way up. But we're not doing that. We're doing this. Yeah, something like that. So, um, these sound nice with reverb. A little bit, though. Not don't don't murder reverb. Cause I noticed. Um, I'm gonna put this cause it still sounds. Uh, you know what? Let's see what happens if we put that on there. Just detune it. You know what, let's just see what that, let's see what we can do with that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, pull it down here. I'm going to move this up. Shit. Um, forgot. <laughs> if you play it. Yeah, so 
so we don't want it to do that. We want it to, uh... I don't know why I just did that. Um, hold on. Actually, I don't like that um, pulse wave that I used. Um, let's see what cubes do. I just got an idea. Let's try to use. Um, if I use these. I actually like that. Now what? Now what do I add? Hold on. Alright, um, yeah, so I'm just laying out these. So, um, now that I have those claps in, I'm going to, uh, to add to the, um, flavor of those chords, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to layer those. designer to be totally honest with you so huh what else can, oh yeah yeah atmosphere 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 um atmos i 
that's not what I was going for. Um, dirt. What's it called? Dirt. Oh, atmosphere dirt. Come on, I know I had it. White dirt. There we go. Um, you guys probably don't have something like this, but it's so easy to get it. All you do is go on YouTube and type in "freaky vinyl atmosphere" and it sounds like that. So what I'm going to do is, because I don't like that sweep it has in the beginning of it, I'm just going to take a part of it. And let me save this. That sounded like shit. So what I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna make this cut off. So now what I'm going to do is, when I heard these claps, um, basically I'm going to drop the song right here, so it'll be the drop right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make a nice snare roll under these claps. But in order for me to get a snare, I have to blast my ears out again. So maybe, um, I don't like this. I, I wish I had a better way. Dude, when you're like, when, the reason I'm having so much trouble, uh, getting these samples is when I'm record, what to do, in order for me to do the screen recording and talk, uh, it becomes really difficult to manage sound, so, um, so, getting samples like this without blasting my ear out really, really sucks. Um, yeah, I wouldn't even... I'm just gonna have to go for it and pick one, and hope it's it'll work for snare roll. So, um, yeah, I can I can make a snare roll with this. I think. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm not gonna start out doing just single hits. I'm actually just gonna make the whole roll. By doing that, I'm going to do... I think this is the right size. Oh wait, that's way fast. I don't want it that fast. I don't want it to be that fast. I want it to be at least uh, the line. I'm gonna do this. But on these last, on the last part of this right here, I'm going to, um, double. The amount of snares that you're actually going to hear here just to make this snare roll cooler so um 
and then we'll do some nice editing. Um, do some nice editing to get my uh, reverb kick in, and then get rid of that low end, and then we'll do. I just got a brain blast. Hold on. I don't want that. I don't want that doubled. I want this just real simple. I wouldn't care for that. Just there. Somebody answer the phone, please. No one's gonna answer the phone. I can't answer the phone. I'm making a YouTube video. I don't know if I like this or. She got a brain blast. So. Okay. This will make me happier if I do this. See, that sounds too fast, and then when I have it without those, it sounds too slow. So let's just do it with this. Let's try it with this. If I don't like it, I'll fix it, right? Yeah, I think I'll fix it if I don't like it. So just come down a little. Um, let me listen to this progression real quick. Got it. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to freeze it right here. I'm going to um, <clears throat> cut everything right here. Let's save it. When your project starts getting big, you should always start saving it. Just a uh, little uh, tip. So, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm trying to think like a little little snare snare drop or whatever you would call. Um. Try something. I want to try something. Opening up a sampler. Um, you can use the ES X24. Uh, I don't like the ES X24 because I don't know how to use it. <laughs> but um, yeah, it could do the same thing that I'm gonna do right here. So. Uh, and the ESX24, if you have a logic, you most likely have it. Um. So 
but this is where future bass is fun because it does this artsy shit. <laughs> and then and then it'll be the drop like right here. Um, uh, last thing I want to add in the beginning. No, you know what? Um, hold on. I forgot to fix this. These kind of sound like Pac-Man. White noise sweep. Here I am trying to end a video. We need to make a uh, white noise sweep. Simple, simple, simple. White noise wave up here. Low pass filter. Let's add some res and then bang. That's basically it. Um. Lay it down here. That's what it should sound like. Um, compressor. I'll work with that later. This video turned out really cool. This is going to be a great song. It's going to be an awesome song. to this. I'm actually going to use sound one reverb on this one. Bang. So when this hits this point, what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to just cut all the volumes. Um, I'm not going to film myself doing it, but I'll show you what I'm going to do here to make this a lot cleaner. I'm going to cut these volumes exactly on this point. Like that. And I'm going to do that for everyone so I have no transients uh, by the time it hits this drop. Because we want this drop to be really full and nice. So, um, huh, do I need to do anything else? Um, hold on. not a huge fan of that progression I could do way better but that'll just come later I'll fix it later so um yeah there you go on video number one of how to make a future bass track from scratch uh, let's keep killing this it's sounding sounding great right now so um, I'm really excited yeah <laughs>